I made this custom painting of your husband just like you asked in oil paints and all that good stuff. Oh, it's nice. I'll give you 20 bucks. $20? But I spent a whole week and a half painting this for you. Yeah, but didn't the paints like cost you 20 bucks though? Yeah, they did, but I worked on it for over an, a week and a half, so I need more than that. Mm, I don't think so. So, I made your custom headband for your cosplay. Oh, it's super cute! I'll give you five bucks. Five dollars? But I literally spent like 12 hours putting this together for you. Yeah, but I could have gotten that like at the store for like five dollars, so... Five dollars. It's custom, specifically made for you. Something like this has happened to pretty much every artist boo-boo. And if it hasn't happened to you yet, you're afraid of it happening to you. People who do not realize how much your art and custom products actually are worth. But today, my YouTube babies, Mama Mushroom is here to show you how to properly price your work so that it doesn't scare customers away, but you're also not working sweat shop wages girl because nobody wants that because you are a human being who is working hard and deserves to get paid appropriately for your work so i hope this video will be super useful for you do not forget to give it a big thumbs up to show your support and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this so without further ado let's get started well the first thing i wanted to share with you actually came from one of my best friends dory who by the way is one of my favorite accessory makers in the world. I have a link to her shop down there in the description box below in case you guys are interested. Keep track of how long it takes for you to create something and then charge minimum wage per hour that you spent creating that item. And once you have that total, think to yourself, is that too much to charge for the item that you just created? Let's just pretend I spent five hours making this headband. Now think about the minimum wage. Let's just pretend minimum wage is $10, right? So 10 times the five hours you spent making this, that's $50. Is someone really going to spend $50 on this? So the moral of the story is if something took you a long time to make, you deserve to get paid appropriately for the time that you spent creating that item. However, you need to think to yourself, if you got paid minimum wage for every hour that you spent creating that item, will a customer be willing to pay that amount for that product? And if the answer is no, they would not be willing to pay that, then it is not worth creating this item to sell. Try creating items that will not eat up your entire day so that you can sell them at an affordable price that will be fair to your customers but fair to you. This also goes for paintings. This is a painting that I made of my fiance. If you guys haven't seen the videos yet, here they are. The links are down in the description box below. I painted his portrait with my feet and then did this one to kind of make up for the nonsense that I made in the foot painting. Anyway, go watch it, it's super funny. This took me about a week and a half to actually complete. This also included the amount of time that it took for it to dry and all that good stuff. And now when you think about all the hours that I spent on it, and I charge a minimum wage for each hour, it would roughly come out to about $100, $150, and that would be closer to my comfort zone. But here's the thing, you don't only need to charge minimum wage, you also have to feel comfortable with selling your work for that price. So minimum wage pricing is by no means the only way to price your work. It just gives you a fair guideline for how much you could possibly charge for your work. You also have to think about how much did you spend on the materials to create that artwork. More times than not, I hear seamstresses and people who make custom props and items for cosplays and costumes and all that good stuff, I hear them complain about their customers saying things like, yeah, but the materials were only $45 to make that dress. Why should I pay any more than $45? Girl! It's not just the materials. You have to charge your customers, not just the amount of for the fabric or the paint or the clay or whatever that you had to actually purchase to create their custom product. You also have to charge for your time. These two things combined are usually what you should charge them. For instance, 
My darling daughter Priscilla, how I love Priscilla. Priscilla, I purchased her on eBay completely not painted. A lot of you have seen me paint her in my Halloween unboxing video. Hey girl, welcome to my channel, hey. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but I hand painted her. She's also not finished as you can see. <laughs> So if somebody wanted me to create a custom skull for them, I would charge them for the base skull that I got off of eBay and I would also charge them for my time. But let's say they wanted some customs on her, like they wanted glitter or they wanted me to paint in extra dirt and add like textured crap all over her to make it look like she was exhumed from the ground or they wanted little tidbits of coagulated blood in her sockets. I should have done that. Anyway, <laughs> I would charge them for the extra materials that I may not have had on hand but would need to create their custom item. When it comes to custom artwork, it's a little bit harder to charge by the hour. People like me love to create artwork on larger paper but this would be far too expensive to actually create for other people because the truth is that illustration is taking me weeks to complete and I'm also using Copic markers and other materials that when you tally it all up is just financially not worth it for a person who is going to hire me to create an illustration like that. So what I would do is work on a smaller scale paper, maybe a custom small size or an 8.5 by 11 type of paper, something smaller that I can fill up a lot faster with less materials and still charge by the hour and charge them a more comfortable rate. Or you can use a very special method that I used to use when I did commissions, which was my add-ons system. What is that, you say? I would start off with a base price of $30 for a character from the waist up, just black and white. And then if they wanted color or ink, that would be an extra $5 each. If they wanted it to be a full body character, an extra $5. If they wanted an extra character altogether, as an extra $10. If they wanted a background, as an extra $30. And before you know it, you're charging a very comfortable and fair rate that you feel good with and your customer feels good with. And because it's an add-on system, your customer is completely in charge of the price by thinking to themselves, what is my budget? Let me look at this artist's add-on list, almost like a little menu, you know? And they're like, my budget is 40 bucks, so I can afford a colored picture, one character, full body, please. And that's it. There's no questions asked. It's all right there. Just give your customer your little list of add-ons. They could pick and choose what they want and be fair to yourself and be fair to them and make sure that whatever you charge, you would feel good accepting because you know that you're not wasting your time slaving away on an illustration that's gonna take you way, way longer to create than you're comfortable with and you charge them too little for your time. I hope this video was super useful for you guys. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for more fun videos from me. And until next time, guys, please take care. God bless. And do not be afraid to nerd out. Take care, guys.